Good morning, viewers. In one of my previous lessons, I have talked about numbers. I have talked about different types of numbers, real numbers, imaginary numbers, and we have even talked about so many subset of real numbers. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about odd and even numbers, definition, their relationship, and how we can be able to identify them in case of a larger number. In my entire life as a mathematician, I've never come across any topic in mathematics that has a lot of different people's perceptions, different opinions and understanding as this topic. Let me first of all start with even numbers. So many people do define them as any number that is divisible by two. When we say any number, we are referring to the set of real numbers. 0 0.2 is a real number, which is a decimal number. And you know this number is divisible by 2 because you will obtain 0 0.1. But decimal numbers are not even numbers. Fractions, we don't refer them as even or odd numbers. So where people have different opinions is on the set of integers, you know, integers, there are numbers on the number line. We have the positive ones, and we have the negative ones. So many people consider this set of numbers as even and odd numbers combined together. And other people only consider the whole number parts as a set of odd and even numbers. The reason is that, suppose you are given um, um, some oranges, like 10 oranges to share evenly among two people. If and only if those oranges were shared equally, each person will obtain five. And these fives are all positive numbers. So any concrete thing you can share to people, that thing must be positive. This is why so many people refer this set of numbers to be positive numbers. But whatever they are, let us dive in and see. Let us first of all consider the whole numbers. The set of whole numbers are numbers that start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 in that order and you see they are natural numbers together with 0 or we say they are the positive integers so from definition we say odd numbers they are this set of numbers that are not divisible by 2 so now let us pick out of these numbers that are not divisible by 2 so odd this one is not divisible but this is divisible we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in that order. They only have a difference of 1. You see from here we skip, we skip 0 to 1, we skip 2 to 3. So even numbers, we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in that order. 0, 2, 4, 6, it, that order. Okay, these are the sets. But now let us look on to the relationship between them using the four basic operations. Let's start with addition. What happens if we add odd number and even number? Let's pick any odd number at random. I have five here, um, plus, let me pick four here. This is equal to five plus four is nine. So we have nine and nine is an old number. Nine is an old number. Let us pick another one at random, odd. Let me pick three here. Let me add it to another even number. Uh, let me pick um, um, 
8 here this is equal to 11 and 11 is an odd number because it is not divisible by 2 so any number you pick at random from here and here if you add them together you will obtain an odd number so we conclude by saying odd plus even equals odd let us take subtraction let's subtract these numbers at random 5 minus 4 is 1 so we have 1 here and 1 you can see it as an odd number it's an odd number 3 minus 8 is negative 5 negative 5 all right we can see that 5 uh, is an odd number but this is negative 5 this is to say even the negative integers are inclusive because you see you have obtained negative here on that relationship between them and this is an odd number so you can see odd minus even equals odd uh, you know interchanging them will not change anything the value will remain the same just that maybe we we'll get a negative sign or positive sign differently uh, for instance if we say 4 minus 5 we shall obtain negative 1 but 1 remain 1 just that sign differs if we say 8 minus 3 we're going to obtain positive 5 so we can conclude by saying even minus old equals old even this one even plus old is still old now let us take um, multiplication if we multiply this together we multiply this together um, 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 is divisible by 2 so this is an even number 3 times 8 is 24 24 is divisible by 2 so this is even so at random any number you pick from these two set and multiply them together you will get an even number so odd times even equals even 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 times odd is still even because they are commutative you can interchange them and multiply you get the same result okay now let us look on to division let me pick any number here at random let me pick three as an odd number three let us divide by uh, zero even this is undefined because you know we cannot divide by zero our denominator will never be equal to zero otherwise we say the statement is undefined let me pick another number we have seven as an odd number divide by maybe two as an even number this is the same thing as seven over two or we say it is equal to 3.5 and 3.5 is this small value and you know the smalls are not considered as odd or even therefore it will not result to any one of these sets so this is to say only addition subtraction and multiplication will give rise to another element which is under these two sets but not division uh, therefore we have to consider the set of integers which are 
So generally, even number is equal to 2n for which n belongs to the set of integers. What this means, any number you pick at random here, multiply it by 2, you shall obtain an even number. 2 times 7, 7 is an integer, you get 14, and 14 is an even number. Pick 1, multiply it by, by 2, you shall obtain 2, 2 is an even number. Pick negative 3, multiply it by 2, you shall get negative 6. Negative 6 is an integer and it is regarded as even number. And for odd numbers, you know they have a difference of 1. So odd, odd numbers, they are defined as 2n plus 1, for which n belongs to uh, the set of integers. Any number you pick here at random, multiply it by 2, add 1, you shall obtain an odd number. Let us pick 1 here and multiply it by 2 and add 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and uh, 3 uh, is an odd number. Pick another number at random. Let's pick 7. 2 times 7 plus 1. 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. This is to say that the general definition of our odd number is 2n plus 1, for which n belongs to the set of integers. So now how can we identify these numbers if they appear to be large numbers? For even numbers, any integer that ends with um, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Any integer that ends with any one of these digits, we say that number is even number no matter how large that number is. For example, um, let me write number at random, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. This number is an even number because it ends with 8. Another one, maybe five, seven, four, two. This is an even number because it ends with two, and two, you know, is an even number. Uh, let me give another one. This is example. Two, seven, four, nine, six. This is also an even number. You can test by dividing it by two. You shall get a, a whole number without remainder. Then for odd numbers, any integer that ends with one, three, five, seven, nine. Any integer you pick at random that ends with any one of these digits, that number is an odd number. For example, you see 7 is an odd number and definitely this number is an odd number. 5. This is an odd number because the last digit is an odd number. This is also an odd number because the last digit is an odd number. You can use your calculator and check whether this is true or not. Divide each of these numbers by 2. If it enters without remainder, you consider it as even. If there is a remainder, you consider it as an odd number. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day and don't forget to share it to your learning colleagues.